Hey, Shani Ferguson in Jerusalem. Just finished our second round. Second round of sirens today. First one happened when I was in the grocery store. I'm smiling because there's a rainbow. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it in the camera? Anyway, um, first one happened when I was in the grocery store this morning. I had to go again. I went yesterday, but um, there was no food or there was no vegetables or bread or anything. So I went out today again and um, I can still hear explosions in the distance. We could hear them last night. Don't know where it's happening because uh, there's not a whole lot of news about where things are falling, which is good. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, the less we know, the less they know. I am hearing sirens, which makes me think that the rockets, that the explosions we just heard a few minutes ago landed somewhere. Um, last night was, uh, was a hard night because they had a press conference for the parents of all the missing Israelis. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to watch in Israel. I actually turned it off because at some point we need to be able to um, radiate calm for our kids and that was heavy. Um, I don't know what Hamas is thinking and who is behind, who is the brainchild behind this, but they have, they have lost all um, self-restraint and um, they've kidnapped women and children. Um, there's one dad who said his wife and two daughters are uh, kidnapped. His daughter's three, his other one's five. And uh, he realized that that's where they were because he did a find my iPhone and his wife's uh, phone was in Gaza. And then he saw footage of them being herded into a truck. Um, yeah, and so this is about psychological warfare that they are doing. Um, they are sending footage of little children being bullied and um, calling up uh, using the phones of the hostages to call up the parents and loved ones and say what they're going to do to them. There are babies whose mothers have been killed that are nursing babies, and so they're asking nursing mothers uh, that are available to come and help. Um, but they, these people are animals. These people are animals, and I am sorry that it took this for the world to recognize it. I am very happy to hear that um, organizations that have long funded um, the Palestinian cause uh, saying that they're going to stop funding um, I'm just sorry that it took this for the world to see what we've been dealing with for decades and The world is going to look different after the end of this. So, I will update you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but our uh, defense minister said uh, he wants a total siege on Gaza. No food, no water, no gas. And the world didn't bat an eye. Which should tell you that world leaders have seen stuff that you guys aren't seeing, I actually recommend you don't. It's not healthy for you. Be aware that stuff is happening, but um, there were videos that ISIS put out years ago and I didn't watch it because I didn't want it in my mind. The level of brutality is sick and we, we who want to have um, sane minds shouldn't be exposed to it. So thank you for your prayers. Please pray for 
those who are missing to be found. Pray for our soldiers. There's a congregation in Israel uh, who just uh, lost, lost, uh, lost a soldier, the son of one of the leaders. So thank you. Thank you for watching.